Okay, well, here's part two of uh, my aquaponics system. Um, last video got everything built and set up and plumbed and um, it's been uh, running reliably, so good there, got a light and all that. And so I've started the process of uh, cycling it and here's my first set of readings uh, from the test kit. I don't know if it's visible, but the pH is about 7.2, uh, maybe a little high. Uh, the ammonia is around 4 parts per million, which is a little on the high side. Um, better than it was, though, because I overdosed the system when I started, because I didn't follow the directions for the ammonia test kit properly. Um, so I wound up draining a lot of water and replacing it, and so now the ammonia is down to at least something a little better. And uh, no nitrites and no nitrates yet, which is to be expected. And I, actually using my old aero garden, <laughs> uh, the pump doesn't work anymore, um, to uh, start seedlings here. And doing that in, in rock wool. So, got a bunch of uh, stuff started here. Uh, okay, now that I have the ammonia and pH levels uh, to where they're supposed to be finally, I um, added a bag of dried seaweed to the water, which has made it dark. Uh, that's supposed to clear up after a while. And I proceeded on to grab whatever out of here had uh, germinated and uh, planted it in the grow bed, so got a bunch of uh, little uh, rock wool plugs with uh, seedlings started. So, just a brief update. It's uh, been about two weeks of uh, operation here, um, and nitrites are just maybe starting to show up on the readings. Um, I'll get a shot of that. Uh, once uh, it's a little more clear, they're there. Um, made a few tweaks to the system. I built a nice little shelf there to store all my stuff on. And um, also, because it's on my back porch, I put some tarp on the inside there so that when the uh, system's draining, it doesn't splatter all over the floor. Um, and I also installed a 200-watt uh, heater uh, to get the water up, uh, to hopefully get the bacteria going a little better, and also in preparation for the fish. And uh, I don't know if it's visible, but uh, running at about 76 degrees, uh, so that's good. And uh, the plants are doing pretty well. They're at about two and a half inches now. A um, whole bunch of lettuce and some basil and uh, Swiss chard. So, uh, looking good so far. So, just a brief update on the uh, water chemistry here. Uh, the, on the left, the pH is still pretty high at 7.6, and the ammonia in the middle is still pretty high at 8, but on the plus side, the nitrites on the right have finally started spiking up, and I think they're at about 0.5 parts per million now already, so that's good. A uh, brief update, uh, plants are growing really well, and the leaves are uh, turning a little more full green now. They used to have a little yellow in them, it's getting better, and uh, I've actually harvested some of the lettuce already. And the uh, chemistry here for the water is uh, definitely improved. The pH is starting to drop rapidly, um, and the ammonia levels have finally dropped to, to normal. Um, and nitrites are high, and the nitrates are picking up fast, so uh, hopefully uh, I'll be fully cycled in a, in a week or two, and you can go get some fish. Well, just a quick note here. Um, uh, my nitrites are almost to zero, so I'm hoping to go get the fish uh, right after Christmas. Um, but I did try uh, 
just broadcasting seeds on the grow bed uh, for the first time instead of using my uh, kind of a, you know a seedling starter tray here with the own separate grow light. So I just sprinkled it in the grow bed and uh, they're germinating like crazy. So uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with the uh, the you know seedling starter plugs anymore. I'm just going to throw stuff into the grow bed. It's uh, it actually germinated faster, I think. Um, Things are going well. Swiss chard is growing like crazy, looking much healthier now. The leaves are shiny instead of kind of dull uh, when I first started out. And uh, basil is growing great and got some nice heads of lettuce going. So uh, i trying to stage things now more so that I have some heads of lettuce uh, mature while other ones are starting to grow. So I can actually. Uh, you know, use it for food on a more regular basis. So, here I am about 35 days into cycling, and uh, I'd say everything is exactly ready for fish now. Um, pH is 7.2, zero ammonia, zero nitrites, and lots of nitrates. Um, 100 parts per million, or maybe even more. I don't know if you can actually have too much of that, but uh, uh, it's quite high. So time to get fish, and also worms. By the way, here's a, a spreadsheet of data I've been taking on the system for the last 35 days. Um, and then I plotted the uh, system cycling, um, and it looks just like it's supposed to, with the ammonia starting off, and then after a while, um, about 18 days, uh, bacteria builds up, uh, finally, and then the nitrates spike up, and then a couple days later, the nitrates spike up, and then the ammonia and nitrites drop to zero. Um, so pretty much picture perfect. Well, this uh, video was to have me uh, showing the introduction of uh, the fish and worms to the system, but uh, it's proven to be uh, a bit more of a challenge to uh, get a hold of uh, somebody willing to uh, sell me um, fish fry or fingerlings, so it's going to take a little longer. I wasn't able to do it by the start of the new year, as I was hoping. We already have um, our first uh, kind of snow outside on the ground here in Chicago. First really cold night. Um, but uh, I'll just uh, create a follow-up video as soon as I get the fish and, uh, and try and follow that a little bit more. Um, but uh, everything's working just fine. Um, oh, and also on a follow-up video as kind of a side project here, uh, I've been working on doing some automated control and monitoring for the system. That's going to take a while to get going, but uh, um, bought a used programmable logic controller on eBay and uh, gonna hook it up with some analog and digital I.O. Uh, and sensors to read uh, pH and um, various things like that and control a fish feeder and the lights and all that. Um, and uh, also uh, on my video I'm going to try and put in some uh, some text to uh, credit uh, all the sources of information uh, that have uh, helped me do this, um, but probably the biggest one for me was uh, I picked up this book when it first came out uh, by uh, Sylvia Bernstein called uh, Aquaponic Gardening, and uh, for, for building a home system, this has just been a fantastic reference for me. I've pretty much read the thing cover to cover and uh, this is a really good starting point of uh, information and just jump off onto uh, support websites and um, and there's lots of other good books out there too so it just happened to be the one I picked up and uh, so next video uh, hopefully will have me with uh, fish thanks for watching